Hello, my name is Scott Hamlin, and I'm the creator of an app called Easy Animator Pro. Now, I do sell Easy Animator Pro, but I didn't want people to not be able to experience the fun of creating animations with Easy Animator, so I created Easy Animator, which is a light version of Easy Animator Pro. Available for you for free on this page. You can just go ahead and click to download it. It is a .air file, and I've got a link also for a video that tells you the simple steps to install this app. But let me show you quickly what this can do. I've got a little graphic here that I put together. I used some free art that I found online. And all I've done is I've done all these different pieces represent different little pieces down here. Now I've got a little taste of what our Easy Animator Pro has with presets and I've just included a few and I can go ahead and apply them and you can see how quickly I can have a fun little animation. Now if I want to I can just go ahead and I can remove that. I can select all of those things. Now notice by the way I can rotate them and size them all at the same time. I can do group movement and sizing and so forth but let's just get rid of that one and just check out something else. I've got a bunch of little samples here that I threw together just again using art that I found for free online. And all I did was I created just a bunch of SVG files of the pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, size that up. I was holding down the shift key to constrain the sizing by the way. And once again I can come to here and I can just, I'm going to select a different one and I can apply that, oops I hit, I should hit the apply button for get that to work. And you can see that I can create a fun little animation with just a few clicks of a button. Now if I don't like those little features right there, I do like to start with that though because I, I get all the different pieces with animation options to begin with real fast. But I can come down here and I can click on the specific things and I can change them with all these different options here. So I have a rotoscope for example, I have whatever is selected here. I can uh, you know, go through, I, by the way I can click on the state here. If I wanted to make all of those do rotoscope, I could do them all at once just by clicking on that and um, I have to be sure that I have it. There we go, I clicked it. And now they all are using that one animation effect on it, so I can change them all at once. And each of these tabs has a state option. So I can apply all of the different types of animations uh, all at once if I want to using that. And so you can see here that you can also drag these things up and down so you can move them around and change the order that they animate. And these little numbers here allow you to do some offsetting so that basically they come in at different times. So if I increase the number there, I can arrow that up or down to increase how, whether if I want them to stagger in instead of uh, come in at the same time. So there's a lot of different animation possibilities. By the way, also down here, there's a few shortcuts that are kind of handy. For example, let's say I didn't want things to move. This is a banner after all, and normally I'd want to have some text here, which you can just, by the way, import by just creating you know, an SVG file. You can use uh, free programs like Inkscape or Gravit.io to create you know, your text and just uh, convert it to shapes and then import it, and you can put that right there and animate it also. But I would probably normally want that to be static, so I can just click on this All Pause None and that just becomes static and then I only have an in and out animation and I didn't have to do that all at once. Now I could have con come to the pause state and clicked on state and then hit on hit none at the end to, to, to do the same thing but this is a one click option and uh, similarly if I wanted to have everything animate like I just did I have state still selected there I can come over here and I can turn on I mean off all of the in and all of the out so that it just have that kind of middle animation so there's a lot of different possibilities here, even with just this free version of Easy Animator. If you want to see more possibilities, click, on, click here to check out Easy Animator Pro, or you can click here on this link as well. And you'll find that there's a ton more animation possibilities with Easy Animator Pro. But in the meantime, I hope you get a lot of fun and, and a lot of value out of, out of Easy Animator. There's a lot of animation possibilities. Um, I like to say that there's half a million, but actually if you do the math, it's a little bit more than that. So thanks for checking this out. And click on the button below to download it. There's no, you don't have to sign up for anything. And it's just a .air app. And check out the tutorial on how to install Easy Animator.